During the 1960s and 70s, the avant-garde was dominated by abstract art, conceptual art, and uh, there was a sort of rejection of figures and stories. George Bazlitz was a leader in a movement that gave figurative painting a new importance in the avant-garde. Bazlitz, from the beginning, has always been keen on being part of a figurative tradition. And he found ways to make it relevant by adopting a very expressive style. Georg Bazelitz's Six Decades of Drawing is a retrospective of the artist's work on paper from the 50s to the present day. It surveys all of the major movements, motifs, and media in his drawing practice, and it is a fantastic overview of this wonderful artist's work. Bazelitz grew up in East Germany and he had been very affected by the atmosphere after the Second World War. And so his early works express his anger, his rebellion. He was choosing purposely grotesque subjects, things that would be anti-artistic. And he did paintings that were considered scandalous, indecent. They were confiscated during his early exhibition by the authorities. Eventually, he became interested in the art of the Renaissance and especially mannerism of the 16th century, and that's how his art evolved. And at some point in 1969, he adopted a strategy that remained with him for the rest of his career, which was to paint the subjects upside down. For him, it was a very liberating strategy because suddenly he could rely on traditional subjects, traditional genres, the portraits, the still life, the landscape, but he could paint them without being overly concerned with the narrative implication. If the figure is upside down, then there is not so much concern with the psychology of the figure. And he felt he could give more importance to the composition, the colors, the brushwork, without worrying about the meanings of the subject. And actually, rather than using the word subject, he would use the word motif. He thought it was important to realize that a painting is an image, it's not real life. Bazlitz loves the Morgan. In the winter of 2020-2021, he suddenly announced that he wanted to give the Morgan 50 drawings chosen from his entire career. And he made a similar gift to the Albertina at the same time. And so the exhibition has been organized with the Albertina to feature most of the works that were part of those gifts. This is the most substantial gift that a living artist has made to the Morgan in its history. From very early on in his career, Baselitz looked to and venerated artists from the past, from the 16th century, from the late 19th century, and for Baselitz, I think it was important for him, just as with the Albertina, that a selection of his work reside in institutions that look at all the histories of drawing and have high, high standards in collecting them. I think what comes across when you walk through the exhibition is an artist who expressed a lot of aggression in his early works. And then he becomes freer and more confident also as an artist. His style becomes sort of lighter. If you were to compare the last section with the first, you will see there are touches of humor. He does not hesitate to just showing himself as he is. In some ways, Georg Baselitz is the old master of German modern uncontemporary art. And for Baselitz's works on paper, which are rarely seen on the walls, this is an opportunity to get a sense of the artist at his most intimate over six decades.